40 years ago, 50 prominent Filipino CEOs gathered together, believing that social development is possible through their collective action. They vowed to help and make a difference. Being the visionary that they were, fueled by a genuine desire to help, a group of pioneers from this benevolent circle of businessmen formed the Philippine Business for Social Progress, or PBSP, in December of 1970. In the forefront were PBSP's original incorporators, Washington Cesa, Howard D., Jose Soriano, Emilio Abelio, and Sixto Rojas. In 40 years, PBSP members and partners contributed over 5.5 billion pesos, which funded over 6,500 social development projects, uplifting the lives of 6.4 million Filipinos. With the business discipline adopted from the private sector, PBSP professionalized development work and promoted corporate social responsibility even before it was comprehensible. But after four decades, 6,500 projects and 6.4 million beneficiaries, the PBSP members asked themselves, what difference have we made? Why does poverty seem undented? Are there other ways to help to create a more significant and lasting impact? At the cusp of its fifth decade, the PBSP challenges the corporate community beyond its members to make a genuine impact on addressing poverty. PBSP renews its promise to actively find more innovative and strategic business solutions to fight poverty. Concretely, PBSP will launch programs which will collectively harness the strength of Philippine business in addressing our country's problems in education, health, environment, sustainable livelihood, and enterprise development. If we are determined to continue fighting poverty looking forward, we must address the problems of Philippine education because there is nothing that will address the problems of poverty better or more effectively than addressing the problems related to Philippine education. Now, unfortunately, we all have to admit that the state of Philippine education is very poor. It's very dismal. Out of 100 kids who enter grade school, only 33 finish high school in this country. So those are some of the dismal statistics that we have to live, that we have to live with and which we have to address if we are going to do something about the problems of education in our country. Problem number one with education has to do with teachers. And as we all know, problem number two has a lot to do with infrastructure requirements such as classroom. What are the advantages, you might ask, of the private sector being involved in classroom construction? I think very clearly elimination of corruption, lower cost, better quality, shorter construction time, and probably even including in the package maintenance of these classrooms so that over time these classrooms will remain useful and prolong their useful lives. Again, this is one area where the private sector can get very meaningfully involved. So these are just two examples and there are many others you can find. But I think it's good also to prioritize and I think these are probably the two best priorities to focus on. The problem that has to do with teachers and the problem of classrooms. If we as a community focus on these problems, I think we can make a major impact in solving these problems over the shortest time possible. Citibank, together with PBSP, is committed to fight poverty. Admittedly, a tall order, but not impossible. For this program, PBSP will use the value chain framework as a primary tool to establish solid and strategic engagements between communities of small producers and micro-entrepreneurs with the mainstream business sector. Citibank has worked closely with PBSP for many years in recognizing entrepreneurs and companies who have deliberately set up their businesses to achieve very specific social goals. We are excited with this uh, growing breed of uh, social entrepreneurs who not only measure their success by the financial ROI, but also by social and environmental ROI. Together with PBSP, 
we in Citibank are working with Philippine business to pursue this game-changing strategy. Our country is in a period of renewal, giving us the opportunity to realize sustained growth that would benefit the majority of population. In line with this direction, we started an initiative to deliberately link the supply chain of Jollibee Foods Corporation to small farmers to improve their income and productivity. While we are able to provide some market opportunities, other players had to come in for technology, credit, logistics, business coaching, and other services that are not often accessible to the rural folks. As a member of PBSP, we hope to join hands with other companies in furthering this initiative. A big part of PBSP's efforts continue to be the search for new ways to find solutions to one of the most serious global concerns, saving the environment. Our very recent experience of Ondoy, Pepeng, and the latest flooding and landslides in Bicol, Samar, and Leyte are just a few of the very sad reminders for all of us. We need to progress from singular independent efforts to honing a more collective and cooperative strategy that will enhance our actions. Concretely, we want to adopt common critical watersheds and coastal resources and mobilize all our employees to volunteer in a massive tree planting initiative which will cover much more hectares than we are actually doing now. Beyond tree planting, we and PBSP want to be in the forefront of managing our carbon footprint. Concretely, we will start a massive campaign in the workplace. PBSP will help businesses adopt better environmental business practices as part of their operations by aggressively promoting its greening the supply chain and the proactive reduction of fossil fuel consumption. With these efforts, PBSP hopes to contribute in saving our natural resources and protecting the urban and rural poor from some of the consequences caused by the harmful effects of global warming. Another big concern for the underprivileged is basic access to health services. In 1999, we in Shell embarked on a major anti-malaria program to address a very serious health problem that plagued the people in Palawan, where we were involved in exploration and production. Using time-tested management systems and processes, we achieved great success in addressing malaria, such that in 2006, word got around and Global Fund asked Shell to scale up our program to reach more beneficiaries in five provinces. To date, Global Fund has granted close to $45 million through Shell, and this has helped us reduce the incidence of malaria significantly. Beyond our experience in Shell, we in PBSP have been the reliable outsourced provider of USAID and now Global Fund in the fight against tuberculosis. With these experiences, we in PBSP will seek to further improve our systems and processes and we look to the business sector to work more closely with us so we can scale up and secure more resources to help more of our countrymen. As Secretariat of the UN Millennium Development Goals, PBSP shall rally the business sector and civil society organizations in addressing the national priority agenda and serve as a coordinating mechanism with the government in the implementation of specific projects. In addition, we shall monitor projects and evaluate processes based on specific standards and metrics. We will be proactive in data gathering, validation of information, and analysis of our MDG priority initiatives. We will do all these as we scale up our work in the Center for Corporate Citizenship, or CCC. The expansion will be designed as such that we will be fostering a knowledge hub of corporate citizenship best practices, trends, thought leaders, and tools. As a knowledge hub, we will develop, test, and share new projects and ideas to scale up public-private partnerships and business solutions to address poverty. While the challenges seem to be overwhelming, PBSP is confident that the collective power of business innovations, skills and strategies, and financial muscle are resources that have not been fully tapped. Clearly, the challenge ahead is how the men and women of PBSP can provide programs, mechanisms, 
and services which can harness the collective power of Philippine business enterprises. As we move forward, we remain committed to work closely with the private business sector. We know we are a key stakeholder in the growth of the country's economy, and we know that we have the power to make this growth truly relevant to the lives of many of our countrymen, as well as the environment. Join us in making the Great Philippine Merger for Social Development an even greater one. The Philippine Business for Social Progress, PBSP. Business United. Lives Uplifted.